Well, I just played with the US Army Band. I, I enjoyed myself. I had a great time. And I'd like to say thank you to the Make-A-Wish Foundation for making this possible. So my story began in the fall of 2016. A mysterious lump appeared on the uh, bottom of my left foot. Yeah, he was playing a lot of golf at that time. So I just thought he had like strained his muscle. And so we took him to the doctor and we weren't expecting what we got. <laughs> so, and I guess nobody ever is. After going through several doctors, they determined it was a cancer called epithelioid sarcoma. It has about a one in 10 million chance of appearing in patients. So I apparently was lucky in that regard. And they told us if it spread, he had like a 10% chance. That was the best case scenario of making it five years. And they didn't mince any words about it, and that was hard to hear. So when it spread to both lungs, you know, you just do a lot of praying. And how long has it been now? It's five and a half, five and a half, six years, something like that. Mm -hmm. Colin was born with the old soul, is what we say. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember riding to the hospital to have his foot amputated. This is like the bravest kid or anything I've ever seen. He was just in the back, you know, in the back of our vehicle. We're riding down there. He's not complaining or anything, never said a word, you know. He just knew, kind of knew it had to be done and so much bravery. Me and mom were crying and trying to keep it all in. Smile for the cameras. That's, that's the way I looked at it. To provide ease of mind for everyone around me. If you smile, it makes it way easier for everyone. So if you're looking in at it, he's doing good. The part they don't talk about is that they take, they, they take you out of school. When that happens, you have so much free time. So I, I decided to be productive, at least in some regards. Right before all of this, I had started middle school band in sixth grade at the beginning of the year. And music just, it was, it was natural for me. It just, I love music from when I started, so I knew I was going to do something with music. I knew I was going to go somewhere with it. I just didn't know how far I'd go. Make-A-Wish reached out right before COVID, and then everything was put on hold for a long time, and he's really come into his own in the music since then. Very nice to meet you. We're happy to host you this evening and have you to be a part of the band. The U.S. Army we Band was one of my inspirations for this wish. Watching them back in the sixth grade inspired me to uh, continue music. They gave me their packet of memorized music as well as the new piece that they had commissioned for this concert. For Colin, this is like a dream come true playing with the military band, so it really just gives you a lift. When you go in the hospital and you're in the hospital a week, it's like you stand and, and the world goes around you. Your life stands still. And this just lets you know that there are people that do think of you and care about you. So it's just, it's kind of like letting you know that you're not alone. I was not expecting the awards from the commander, nor was I expecting to play with them at the dress rehearsal for the July 4th concert. As soon as I found out Colin was coming, I gotta be honest, man, I was, I've been looking forward to this since uh, the second I heard, right? Uh, you know, we play for the president regularly, but being able to do something like this where we get to come in and share what we do with you, someone who's so passionate about it, this is, this is the best gig that I'll probably do in the next couple of years, Colin, just being honest with you. As we went through it, it's been a big opportunity for Meyer and myself to grow personally as adults, as human beings. Um, I learned from him, I watch him to just accept what's in front of you and take it on, uh, head on. Don't, uh, don't shy away from it, just deal with it. I value my family so much. We're excited for his journey. He goes uh, in the fall to Georgia Southern on a music scholarship, so we're very proud of him. And he still does scans every six months and they're still clear. It was a miracle. My advice would be pulled from Monty Python's Life of Brian. It would be always look on the bright side of life, keep smiling, and eventually you'll get through it. <laughs>